of this series. I mean, uh, solid hard point right for Optic to keep it up the, the level that they're playing at. I think for Vegas, they've been competitive a lot of these hard points. If there's one player to look at, especially if respawn is Purge, right? Uh, the, the rookie jumping into a, another tough matchup. And for Vegas, I think the problem is after this, I, I want to say I read they play like FaZe in Toronto. Doesn't get much easier. Yeah. Yeah, the next two matches. So it's like kind of need, need, you need one. Yeah. Maybe two. It, it's gonna be tough to get one. <laughs> Two might be uh, might be impossible. Let's see. Listen, the long break is it gonna help some teams. First time we're seeing these guys getting into it. It's gonna be Skid Row to start us off. And Pred, I mean, he has been a monster. Uh, statistically, this guy's been insane. Oh, I mean, was talking to us earlier. He's been in his stream quite a bit, and the guy has just been a lord. He's playing at unbelievable levels. Watching the rest of his team get cut down here early. Yeah, I was tapped into their watch party. You know, Zinni was doing some some reporting. I heard he actually wanted to. To, I don't know, like fist fight Pred for the starting roster spot. Oh, oh God. You gotta stay tapped in there. Zinni always with the intel, Joe. That guy's a clown. Uh, but no, nice start here for Vegas Legion. Let's see if Fred and the boys can break in. ADS looking for an angle, not able to slide into the next. Now the other end of it, someone will be watching. Maybe he's stepping up his Purge. You know, he's 4-1, and one, I think, to kick it off within this game, but He's struggling. I mean, you're looking like a bottom of the leaderboard in every statistic. And we've talked about some rookies that have really been shining. He hasn't really been one so far. No, and the other trio has been very strong, right? Especially, right, you know, just in some of their matches. They've been very competitive in respawns, like we said, uh, outside of control where they're on four. But looking at the hard points, like, they, they are in this. And right now, P2 control, you get the early time at P1. Standy with a multi-kill. So a comfortable start here for Vegas Legion. See what Purge can do off this 4 on 1. Sorry, mostly he's just soaking up the time. Relying on the teammates to get the kills out front. You know how dominant this hard point can be. This P2 on Skid Row. You just rack up the time and you're looking to take a significant lead right now if you are Vegas Legion. So far, so good. 20 seconds remaining. It's looking to be flawless and you're going to be sitting at a 70 or so point advantage when we get out of this. But now we'll start to focus really on the gunfights mid map and the rotation across as we get ready for P3. You see the lock popping bottom mid map early on the rotation. You got Kenny and Dashi. Yeah, Shotzi struggling right now 0 6. But when you don't have that P2 control, a couple of bad deaths, maybe a P1 yeah, based yeah. on timings. That just tends to happen for some of these players. Attach trying to do what he can. He was on four in a row. Eight and three start. We know Attach loves playing Optic, but a much needed first hold there for Optic. Get right back into the game, or at least start to. As next towards back alley, that's where the next Legion push is going to begin. Yeah, this is really their chance to get a rally. If you're Optic, can you open things up though if you're attached? Triple positive here out of the gate. Next gunfight, not gonna happen, but Standy is there for the quick trade. You start spawning Optic out left side of the map. You start to get in and at least contest. So well, good job here from Legion. Does he get a good hold at second? You're at least maybe battling to contest some of this and make sure it's not clean for a rallying cry from Optic Texas. And Purge continues to go big. He's able to get a double there. Now it's seven and three. I mean, outside an arrow, everybody kind of frying right now. I mean, you're looking so good out the gate if you were Legion and this Optic team that's been so dominant in Hardpoint, not looking like that squad early. Yeah, 73 for Purge, also a ton of like, you know, early hill time, right? We saw like Assault earlier when he was the guy holding P2, he had like, he was like 1 and 0. So he's, Purge is getting mixy, he's hitting the scrap time, or sorry, hitting the hill time. And now we're winning rotations after P3 into P4. This is a dominant performance throughout this first set for Vegas. And maybe just a slow start from Texas. You're going up against a pony. You expect it kind of slam with the way they've been performing. But we had a long break. Everyone's been in the lab and Standy there with the triple on four in a row. 15 and six. Attach will finish off the squad wipe. And now you're up over a hundred. Vegas Legion. Well, Jay, you said you really hope to get one. Maybe a miracle in two in these next couple of tough matches. Good start. Now the guy at slow, Nero started to pick it up as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, slow start for Nero. It's what, four and eight, now up to six and eight on this rotation. I thought maybe they were going to win a, another one, but it looks like they're going to get that one player outside of the P2. They have to deal with Nero, though, in this position. He's reading the pushes. And let's take down Shotzi. Now he's hoping his teammates can get there. Legion up to 164. Let's go to a listen in with Vegas Legion. Oh, Rush, done. Rush, done. Okay. I'm a trophy here. I'm a trophy here. Crossing, crossing on you on top. Crossing on you on top. Nice, nice, nice. You can get on top if you need to. I spawned up. I'll take it. 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 I
Yeah, good play. Top, 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 dash, you're dead, One tunnel, trash, 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 we trash, we trash, we can avoid in the corner, trash, 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 he's in the close corner, trash, 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 we went off the screen. Right 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 ticket, ticket, ticket. Can he hurt? Can he hurt? Ticket. He's coming back to you. Ticket. You got. Okay. Nice. 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 I'm going to go right here. Break here. Yeah. Slow down. Yeah. Yeah. Fred was in money. Let's go L2. Let's go L2. He's in money. He's in money. In money. Hit three. Nice. Yo, no. Nice. He's scammed. I got one. He's scammed. Shotzi one shot. Shotzi one shot. Fire. Shotzi one shot. Fire. In the single door. Dead. I'm on my single door. I'll throw you on time. We're missing one. We're missing one. I'm checking Kenny. Kenny's flying at me. Sheesh! Optic! Look at more like Floptic out the gate. They're down almost 200 points. They've got 34 on the board in Vegas Legion. Got him in a chokehold. Yeah, I mean, you. I love the listening. You heard Sandy, let's slow down. But Purge right away, he wins a gunfight. He's like, hey, Fred kind of threw this. This is our time to make this push. He then finds a second kill. Now 214, and plus your winning rotation over to P2. So you already see Nero in this position all the way in the back is Purge at crate. So I'm just gonna need a P2 break. Not easy to do. And obviously a comeback here, it starts to get kind of absurd to happen, right? Like when you only need 36 of your Legion, but even if you can't pull off the win, if you're Texas, what positives can you take away from this point forward? Just get something going, get the guns hot. Uh, yeah, I mean, trying to just, yeah, just try to stay, stay hot, but that's gonna be tough to do because P2 is just so hard to break. Yeah, you're, you're trying to extend this game, but the comms are pretty much, let's just try to forget about this one, focus on, on map two. That's all you can really do, but a great show here from Legion. But it looks like maybe with Kenny's two, make it three, just spawn kill on the player's tunnel side, they will get in. So they're going to extend this game. Yeah, I mean, one of the harder breaks they are able to do, as you said, extend it. Maybe just get some more reps, get the guns hot, because you know, this is when you want to come in and win with how good you've been in hardpoint. And you know, you have the round 11 woes if you are Texas, Legion. If in their moments look very good in search and destroy. Like, uh, they came out looking ahead early on. So the game two can go any which way. Yeah, it's they really been the respawns that have carried Optic. And then I think they lost three in a row, did Vegas Legion. So, yeah, it looked like a really strong. There's been bright spots at times. Oh, yeah. oh, no, 100%. They, they looked ahead, and I think they've also thrown some maps on that. So search and destroy, yeah, well, looking like they're straight. So they're hard Ooh, to come like this. But Dashy, we know this man can shoot straight. Yeah, and that's what I think you need, at least if you're getting blown out. Like, start to feel yourself a little bit, start to get hot, get some streaks going. You're on five in a row. And maybe you pull off one of the more ridiculous comebacks of all time. We've seen some wild stuff. This one would be nuts. You were down, what, 210 to 10, 30, somewhere in that ballpark. And now you start to rally if you are optic, but so far to go. You've already uh, <laughs> starting to mount up this push from Vegas Legion from mid-map. You got one player lurking in Shotzi that might be able to pick this apart from the rear, but the push is going to come through. He's trying to cut off any kind of reinforcements. He's just going to go ahead and uh, rotate. Well, and I'm really like, what is Vegas doing here? I, I don't really know. It looks like they're going to fight for the scrap time. They set that up forever. Yeah, I mean, Shotzi, he, he, he knows someone has to rotate for the team. And I mean, it, it was getting close down to the wire where Vegas couldn't have win on that hill based on their push, but they're able to break down through. Okay. They took their time. Okay. In a statement map one there for Legion. Well, what, what was it that Stanley was saying? Let's take our time, slow down, take our time. Well, they really did with that last yeah, no. push, but they set it up. You know, that's why it looks so funny in the minimap for a second because I was like, is Shotzi gonna like kind of get, get a great timing here? Maybe get some kills. He's gonna go ahead and try to rotate. Nope, they can hold, but ends up being a great final push there from Vegas Legion. They get the win. And honestly, that beating was even worse than the scoreboard looks. Like it's 250 to 130, but that was not competitive at all. Vegas Legion came out and just stop them from the get-go. Uh, you don't expect that with the way Optic Texas has been. They've been the best hard point team in the game. They did not show that map one. No, I mean, Purge leading the way damage-wise, a minute 30 in the hill. Good for him. He's yeah, needed to show something. You know, him being a, a rookie and with this trio, I think there's, there is pressure there. Sometimes rookies join teams that are underperforming. They don't have a strong roster. Like, to me, this is a strong roster depending on how he plays with the, the talent that they have. Well, I, I think, uh, you know, I've asked you a couple times, like, When's your cutoff or when you may make a change? You keep saying, like, you make it to Major 1. He's got to think we're getting closer to Major 1. It's a couple weeks away. If he doesn't perform, if he continues to perform as one of the worst players in the league, guess what the change has probably happened after Major 1? Yeah, he knows the pressure is on. So now does he step it up? 
We'll see. I mean, so far, he did in this series. Yeah, no, I think, like, these guys know how good he is in scrim. It could just be one of the things where... That's true. ...down to matches. And we've heard players talk about how matches, they slow down. Some of the situations and scenarios are much different than practice and just how they are taken. So maybe just take some time to adjust, get ready for that match flow, but still a long series to go. And uh, they have a long way to the first major. Yeah, they do. They do. Yeah, for Optic Texas, you know, you did start to... Uh, Come on, I have a little bit towards the end of that. Yeah, nice break into a P2, which extended this one, maybe allowed the guns to get a bit hot. But the fact is, you, you came out very, very flat. Um, maybe not respecting Vegas Legion enough in that first one. Well, there's a wake up call now. Now you got to turn it into another gear. Yeah, I mean, I think just looking throughout that game, it was like attach and purge early on. You'll see this. Hey, game look at that. That's charge. just. Whew. Yeah, I think the 164 to 27, four hills through the game. It's a little bit larger there in hill number five. But even like when you look at P5, for example, that's when Nero was on a six to seven spree. Just we're in the list and I'm like, how is this guy still alive? There was no trades back there. He gets the cruise, which helps them out down the road. But it's just the first map. Yeah, it's one map, but considering maybe some of the uh, tough search and destroy losses you've had, well, for both teams, I know, but for Optic, that's been the big wall. You've been so good in the respawns. The search hasn't really been there yet. Um, but I know, it's just round 11s. But uh, as you look to the game two, does this slip on its head a little bit? Like, I think going into this, you probably have 3 0 optic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 3 0, 3 1, just around that. But we're going to take a look at our uh, Monster Energy uh, pregame for, for Vegas Legion. And well, uh, SDs have to be on point three and eight in respawn on the year. They're on a three map SD loss streak. They do hold, though, the number one opening duel win rate right around 60%. And get Purge going. That's what we saw. Yeah, no, he, he really did. So, uh, some of the stuff, uh, I mean, answered almost immediately. Uh, I know it says S&D needs to be on point because the respawn's been bad, but you know, their answer for that is just win a respawn. So you do that, purge plays well. You start to feel something positive here. And uh, yeah, I think just the comms overall, just they were calm. They didn't let the moment get to them considering they were up big against one of the, the better teams in the league. Uh, I liked what I heard and you like what you saw, but now you have to keep it going. Because sometimes, you know, you ride the high of that map one, you can make some mistakes, let the map two slip away. Just focus up, different game mode, lock it in, try to take the 2-0 edge if you can. But now we're gonna talk a little bit about Optic Texas as we take a uh, look at our Monster Energy pregame. Oh, I for now we just look at the roster. We got Dashy, Kenny, Pred, and Shotzi. Strong lineup there. They're looking good. They are looking a good. handsome bunch of fellas. I uh, like the new jerseys as well that they had, yeah, yeah. They had showing, so. And now we're going to take a look at their Monster Energy. I was a little excited, Jai. I prematurely got there. And well, there you're going to see their SMG impact off the charts. Pred is, I mean, he's just been so good for them. Shotzi in search and destroy combined. They've been coaching. No, they, they really, the respawn's been so good. I think that's why it was so shocking to see the start to that game. Uh, just how flat they were. But that's when you got to get fired up, get the fist bumps out. Get it locked in. Game is ready. Ready to go for search and destroy. And yeah, I mean, both teams have kind of been struggling here. Looking to fix stuff. You know, you had a long break to kind of dial in your gameplay, work with the coaching staff on what you can improve. Now let's see what you can do here in actual match for search and destroy. But I mean, worst case scenario, right? With, with the position that Opti's in, obviously you have that game five loss, but every now and then a series like this where you get pushed a little bit further than you think, it's it's not the worst thing in the world early on in the year before a major. Like, let's do it. Let's let's slip up on some maps. Let's make oh. some mistakes. Let's do this now. Yes, and not at a tournament, 100%. Like, I think it's shocking to watch just based on their performance so far, but who cares right now, really? Especially if you still end up winning the series. Learn from your mistakes now. Because the mistakes will make you stronger. That's what they say. That's yeah. you're yoked. <laughs> Shotzi. Webcam a little blurry, but gameplay not so much. It's just probably got to refocus. It's fine. He's just taking his time. You have a 2 2 split here. So Purr's watching that cross. He's saying his movement's so nasty, the camera can't focus on him. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it works in COD. <laughs> oh, this is going on. Purr's is flanking quickly. Attach is going to find the first blood. Purr's might end this round right here. And he does. That'll be two. Some wall bangs through to add some damage in. The quick flake comes in. Legion get the round victory. So far, so good here for Legion. Yeah, I mean, that's just that 2 2 split, and Purge is watching that cross in that deep corner. Top Eskies. And it's like as soon as he sees that cross, he just hit a flank immediately. Attached finds the kill. That first blood inside a book, and he knows the flank is wide open. So nice reaction. Very quick from Vegas. 
in that round one. And sometimes that round one defense can be difficult with no trophies. And there's some pressure on this a little bit if you're opting. If you think about the fact that math three is like an unknown, like that. No one's played, neither of these teams have played high rise in an official match. So you're really looking not to go down 0-2, but Legion have also been absolutely garbage in control. So <laughs> there's, there's that too. Year two of that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, hello. Ring, ring, it's Joe DeLuca. How you oh, doing? Oh, no, it's Dandy with the first blood instead, actually. <laughs> 4v3 now for Legion. As they start to move, bomb up the mat and get this towards an A plant. Still lurking is Pred. Yeah, he can just see the cross into the plane, so they know where the play is. And now he's just got to play his life. Maybe find a kill and get out, but for now, he's going to play with the team. Maybe they think there's someone in book, but there's absolutely nobody in book. So no nades for Pred to use, but still might not matter. Attach gets taken out. Nobody watching the top of the ramp. That's going to make this doable for Optic. Standy, though, trying to get the kills. Nice headshot there from Pred. He'll be taken down the alien. Six HP left. Dashy, then with the win. Now, to a one versus one purge. Trying to get it done. Not going to happen against Big Brucey. As he gets two, plenty of time for the defuse, and they clutch up in the round. But Pred with the two openers inside the plane, the big ones. But nobody with eyes on the ramp, as you said. A lot of the times when these plane setups break down, I feel it's it's from ramp, right? Yeah. Like because ladder in the back, very easy to watch. Someone's watching the flank in that walkway. It's always just right up the ramp. I feel like someone's got to be looking at it. Nobody does. Attach gets caught off guard. You kind of have that back-to-back -back setup that just gets turned into a one-on-one. -on -one Sometimes they're just worried challenge. about giving an angle where you're going to get like shot through the windows. Like, yeah. You're scared to peek it, and you get a weird timing, and somebody like Pred comes through and makes a play. Ties us up now at one-to-one. -one. Now, see if they can get a better effort on offense. Remember, last time around, it was a quick flank from Purge that kind of disrupted things. Top side of the map, you'll see Kenny kind of trying to make sure nobody's going to have a push through. At least from that angle. Now, Shotzi, last time you saw him dancing with death, trying to get an opening in the flank, spotting for information, waiting to challenge. There's the challenge. Nice win there from Shotzi. Movement and shots on point. Nero ripped out of it. When he's able to dodge that nade and stay alive. I think whatever he's shooting at the beginning of the round, you hear that sort of the air hissing blows up in the cockpit, so they know there's no one in cockpit, right? Sometimes on Call of Duty maps, random things just explode. That's uh, an example of it. He's using it to his advantage. But into a two on three, his purge is able to find one on a Kenny. Standy just trying to cross. Dashy takes a little bit to get the targeting on, and that's going to allow Purge to get the fast trade. Not going to matter, though, as Purge does get a couple of kills, but it's Texas with the round victory. And it was Shotzi just shouldering, 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 and finding the opener that really got things started. Yeah, I mean, as soon as he knows no one's in top it, you have a – I mean, it's just sort of a – he's either all the way in the back or prone short on that angle, just knows exactly where that player is set up, gets the gunfight win in that first blood. So after a tough round one, back-to-back -back rounds now for Texas. Let's see if Legion get another one on the board. Purge, solid map one, doing his thing here in the search to destroy as well. Bomb in hand to Nero, we're flying towards B. Kenny's gonna have a little bit of help here, but Kenny, it's not gonna matter. He's ripped out of a dash. He tried to run for his life. Not gonna matter. Purge taking no prisoners as he takes down two. Six in two start for the young man as he continues to show his ability. Yeah, we've seen so much activity over through A. This time, though, Vegas just go for the classic top SC's B hits. And really what you're trying to do there for Kenny or Dashy is just get one and maybe we're playing a retake and someone can back on down. Maybe play a uh, three on three, but that just does not happen. It's a four on two, bombs planted right away. Good luck with that. Yeah, I see. They don't even like, get to their spots yet. And they no. just said, uh, Kenny's just dropped mid spread. Dash, he's like already throwing a utility and trying to run away by the time they get there. Just a fast hit, efficient hit. I think purged with the two openers. A solid job from him. They tie us up now two to two. So we'll keep an eye on the changes that happened over the course of this search and destroy. But that'll be the first fast B hit that we'll see. We'll see what Optic's got in their sleeve this time. It's their Kenny, turn. Yeah, Kenny, a slow start at one and four. But yeah, it's like you've three there, but look where Bomb is. Yeah, it's a bit of a fake, I, I think. Gonna throw a lot of attention here. But as you said, Shotzi with Bomb inside of Dreams. He's just gonna kind of wait, take his time. Just he wants, gonna, wants to go towards A. They show three. 
They exhaust some utility. And now, what do you do off the back side of this? Starting to creep his way forward. Will be shots even. You still got... Inside the plane, this time it would be Standy to deal with. Last time I was with Nero, that was picked first. Okay, so Shotzi, though, he's got to be careful here. The problem is he had Bomb. Okay, yeah, so Bomb is not where you want it. Persia's going to find another one. He's been very active on defense through the flanks, through middle hallway. Is yet again, but it's a two on three, 40 seconds left. Make that a two on two. Maybe Bomb won't end up mattering. We'll see. But it's bottom plane. Now it's down to Kenny, who. Uh, Hasn't got much going so far, but he's two and four. A chance to have a massive clutch against Danny and Nero if he can get this done. Bomb down under plane, eyes on to one. Try to get the tracking there through the window, through the door, through anything, but it's Standy that gets the angle. It's Standy that gets the round win, and it's Vegas Legion with back to back rounds and now a 3 2 edge. Yeah, it's just tough. It's, you know, you throw the fake, Shachi starts the rotation, but if he loses that gunfight, drops that bomb there. You make the round very difficult. Yeah, I mean, you started to say you were getting nervous like the second you saw him in that spot. You're yeah. like, uh, uh oh. And shortly after that, he drops. I mean, we know he likes to be creative, right? Just based on timings, rotations. His brain is a wonderland. It absolutely is. You're not right. He thinks about the game differently. <laughs> He's very creative in search and destroy, but that time just gets caught. Last time the fast B hit for Legion. This time, a little more typical, but Pred just takes off Nero's wig. So that, that is a disgusting first play. I don't know if he had yeah. team shot there or what, but if you yeah. feel like that can't happen in that position. It rarely ever does, right? Like that early on that you just find a pick. But Pred does it. One of the more accurate players in the league. Ooh, knock, knock. Who's there? Backing down for now because Shotzi's holding. Run! Now we're gonna go back again. Yep, yep. Now they use the frags, let's go check it out. <laughs> they're gonna <laughs> offer the retake. Shots is hanging out, hanging out with the pistol. And they're just gonna play the four on three. It's such a goofy mechanic. It looks so funny when people use it. Fred just sneaking up the ramp where you so often find picks that you were talking about earlier is attached by himself now. Able to take on Shotzi now in between the entire team. They eat him for lunch and They'll be able to hop on it, tie us up a 3-3. Yeah, I mean, with everybody inside the plane, right, you have to worry about the back ladder. You're worried about the flank. All of the wall bangs. Like, nobody wants to peek anything. You're not giving any position. As soon as it happens, you're going to get shot by three or four MCWs. And then the round is pretty much done. But nice retake. Heads up plays from Optic. Well, it starts with that first blood, which we didn't really get to see from the Preds POV. But just yeah, imagine a team shot maybe with Shotzi. Yeah, I, I would think so. Just show for that double peak and they catch one. Or just one of those, uh, or the rivals, uh, <laughs> Ray Gun. <laughs> well, yeah, MCW that round. Oh, so. yeah, true, 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 true. I'm so used to thinking of him with a rival hand, yeah. Well, they slow down with a roll there from Legion as they were on a couple in a row. I like this. I want to see if he, he goes for this again, just sort of the same place. So, what is. He doesn't even go for it. He just goes for the challenge. Shotzi just wins another first blood inside the play. That is not easy to do. But again, as soon as this happens, Vegas works the flank. Oh. But it is a two on two. It's one of those things where you know you talk when you're prone or you drop shot. Like if you do hit your shots, you hit them all in their forehead. That's what's happening in Nero. He's just been headshot and incinerated a couple. They've been incredible challenge. Purge down, just trying to get out, play his life, play for the ramp. Nice shot from Big Purge. Trying to do it all. Stays alive long enough for Attach to come through. They win the two versus two. But I'll tell you what, they played that well to sort of pin him on the ramp. That snap on the kidney in the window, that was disgusting. Yeah, nice win buys, there for Purge. Buys enough time for Attach to work that pinch. Because he's the last thing he saw, I think, was two flying at him. So, yeah. I mean, that was a nice snap. I, and I, I thought it was a disaster round as soon as Shotzi slides in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's been real confident in that one-on-one, -on -one, and Nero's just getting, I mean, he's getting incinerated. It's just straight head. He's just getting fried. Purge still leading the way. Him and, him and Pred, eight and five on either end of it. A round advantage to Vegas Legion. It's, it's, it's how Shotzi's on the receiving end. It's like you're just prone. It's just all headies. Shotzi is gone. First blood to Legion. Nine and five for Purge. Had a first blood onto that. And listen, I know we're gassing Purge a lot, but listen, he's been struggling. He's been bottom of the league when you talk about a lot of the key statistics from a slaying standpoint. The young guy's putting on right now. It's great to see. 
Fred Belt ready and waiting. He takes down one before Purge gets another one. Standy then through for the trade. We got a two on one. Kenny in his second 1v2 now of this map two. Can Kenny come up big? Can't get it to a one versus one. Fifth round up for Legion. I mean, he snapped on that. Yeah. I yeah. mean, nice patience again from Standy after winning the gunfight inside of the plane because he's trying to cross and plant, but doesn't want to get, you know, I'm two bullets. You cross your wall bang, then it's a one on one, but I mean, Kenny reads it, snaps on him, but attach with the shots. And this is, I mean, everything you want if you're Legion. You know how bad control has been. You haven't won one. Best thing you can do is win the first two. <laughs> really give yourself a chance to, even if you can't win a control. Throw, you know? throw everything out the window right now. Yeah, I mean, uh, not the, what we had expected coming into this series, but this map two isn't over yet. Optic Texas, Texas can still rip off three straight. Certainly the opportunity to do so. They decide to go heavy towards B. The difference here, first time we saw Legion do it, the two Legion players get away with their lives. They have their lives, they're just gonna offer a retake, try to use some utility. Purge goes for the chow. I don't hate it with how confident he is playing. The shots look, they were pretty solid. Dashies were better and he had the heading. But now you're, you're down a man. A Nero trying to work the pinch. Maybe not anymore into a three on three. He's gonna catch the timing onto Kenny with the slide. It was a three on four, but the retake is possible. Map number two is so close to going the way of Vegas. Legion on the defuse. Pred not able to win it. And Vegas take the search and destroy. Vegas Legion take it 6 3 and purge again with a fantastic map. Is this guy, you know, he might be battling for his spot in the league right now with the way he started out as a rookie. The performances were poor, but he is doing it. He is rocking right now, and you can kind of see the body language from Dashy and from Pred. They are a little bit flustered, as they did not expect to be in an 0-2 hole. Granted, this still has all the makings of Optic bringing this back and going to a game five. I would not be shocked there. Yeah, I mean, as you said, uh, I just, again, just the team, the entire team from Vegas put it in, but yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you do have Persh, double digit spread on the other side. I just like how quickly Vegas was, and that's what we saw when they were winning early in, in Search and Destroy. It just looked like they were so fast to react. As soon as one play happened on one side of the map, they were active on the flank, on defense, or through hallway. They always had a response for Optic. Yeah, I mean, their first their first couple Search and Destroys that we casted, we were like, this team's ahead. They are being more decisive than their opponents. And then they go on a three-team skid, or three-game skid, we're like, okay, well, maybe they're coming back to reality a little bit. We thought they had a chance to be a very good Search team, just off our early showings. But here, they look strong. They look to be the better team that there and uh yeah it has been i guess expect the unexpected when it comes to the cdl but did not see it starting this way oh two hole for optic now they have to bounce back they'll have to win it three and four to get to a game five and to read this from brian sats once i will be attached to 70th career match against optic he is 26 and 43 against them interestingly enough he has beat optic in their first match of the year in all four years of the cdl that's that kind is, of a wild stat. That's wild. Yeah, that last line is is very, very crazy. Okay, so maybe don't expect the unexpected. This was written in the stars already, but uh, it's a 2-0 advantage for Vegas Legion. They look to close it out on high rise. As we get ready for high rise, neither team has played this in official match. You kind of maybe go for the wild card if you're Legion because you've been dog water when it comes to control. You're 0-4. You haven't been able to win anything. This may be the wild card to get that going. Maybe you get a 3-0 here or do Optic Texas wake up and battle back find out after the break
Don't miss out on all the action at the first Call of Duty League Major, hosted by the Boston Breach. This January 25th to the 28th at the MGM Music Hall at Fenway in Boston. Scan the QR code on the screen or go to callofdutyleague.com for more info. Start the season strong with the Call of Duty League Pack. Grab yourself the CDL Operator, Weapon Blueprint, and so much more. Check out the Call of Duty store in-game now. Here we go. Welcome back. So far, Optic Texas have been stunned, but we might have a lot of gameplay ahead of us. Uh, to me, this has all the makings of a potential reverse sweep. Maybe this goes to a game five search and destroy. Uh, just due to how bad control has been for Paris Legion, the fact that I think map one was kind of a fluky one for Optic, the, the best hard point in the team in the game. I think we're on five. What do you think, Joe? All right, well, you said that they were stunned, and I was actually just tapped in with Zuma in the flank. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, ben J actually said that they were slammed so far, so oh, just keep it oh. tapped in, you know me. Thank you, thank you, Joe. Appreciate that. Yeah, one ear you got the flank, right? The other ear you got Scuffy's couch. Love that, love that from you. Okay, into map three now. Let's see if Legion can close it out and get their first control win on the board. If you missed the statistic, uh, we saw Treat out from Bride stats one before this. Uh, yeah, uh, I guess it attaches like first match against Optic. Uh, every time they play, he's 4-0. So maybe a chance to go 5-0. You talk about that first match of the year, which is a nutty one. And Purge has just been a different player this series. Yeah. He starts it hot here too. No, he really has. Oh, that is uh, not the best nade I've seen, but well, great evasion there from Standy. Yeah, I, I, I don't think he's hoping it clips onto that generator in that spot, but it absolutely yeah. did. The physics sometimes are Call of Duty and grenades. Well, as you talked about with Sir Isaac Newton. Yeah, yeah no, he's always breaking it down for me, pal. He is, but uh, after that break, that looked so darn good for Legion. They get one tick, but pretty much even in lives, Vegas trying to fight off his spawn. Yeah, after the good break. Now see if they can get back to some positives here. Pred, well, I don't know what it is about, I, I don't know about you guys at home, but whenever I'm trying to shoot down in Call of Duty, I am a robot. Like, I find it so much harder. It just feels so weird to me, I don't know. It's down and then like around the railings, you lose aim assist. Yeah, so uh, the yeah. combo of that, like it's just my hell. Yeah, I think I've seen you, like, it's been pretty tough for you to shoot left, right, and Oh, off. come on, man. That's just disrespectful. Sorry. You gotta be polite to your elders. Pretty even here in the life department so far. B well be captured now. Can they work it towards A? Attach just put Shotzi to bed as he just shouldered that. And it's straight head he's there from Attach as his that's, gunny is up and raw. That's a nice little pop up there. A nice yeah. little pop up out of Attach finds that kill. Purge top helicopter. He's gonna get taken down. But yeah, after getting B pretty cleanly. Off the first couple of pushes, we kind of go into a bit of a stalemate. Minute 15 remaining, all tied up in lives. And from up top, Attach is, he knows something's going on. He's waiting for this pitch. What a read from Attach. Yeah, he's reading it. Like a lovely nonfiction novel. Attach is on point. Nero trying to do the same, but not quite able to do so. It's four in a row though for Attach. We'll keep an eye on that streak. Shotzi trying to finesse his way off the map nearly, but He'll end up getting dropped. That's his comfort zone. Just in spots I wouldn't be. Yeah, yeah. Just being a ballerina around the map. But lives wise, you only have nine left for Optic. You have 40 seconds left to go. Not a massive advantage for Legion, but standing maybe behind enemy lines. The dash, he's ready and waiting for it. It does not matter because standing guy is shooting nukes. He's at one HP, actually a zero HP, because the stun hit for one. Uh, now he'll get back to full. He survives through that with no health. Well, it's probably zero point. Five. I, I don't know exactly. <laughs> I, don't I, know if I, I don't know if I've seen that before. <laughs> I've seen that. I, I think like one other time, like Karma had like a screenshot of like oh, yeah, with zero yeah. HP. Yeah, yeah. But even through all of that, they're able to hold on. You were thinking maybe with Standy on that pinch, they'd find a little bit more. But one more chance. They have to get on the point. Not able to do so. Optic win the first round. Whew. And uh, yeah, I mean. It's what, uh, you only have five or so lives left at that point. It's getting to be a real tight one down the stretch, but you're just able to hold on, just win enough gunfights that they can't get to the point. The pressure, obviously, always on the offense in these situations. You got to work against the clock as well, and they can't quite get there. You get one point done, but Optic hold. Now, what can Optic do offensively is you try to get rolling. Then this match, Pred, uh, who was kind of there. Hard carry in the search and destroy with double digits. He's only got two kills so far in this one. Yeah, I mean, he's trying to get creative, trying to wear some flanks. And I mean, if like Attach is reading that, there's not, it's not much you could do. It could be 
can be difficult at times. Just having a, a tough round, it doesn't matter. They get the round win off of Shotzi and Kenny. Continue to play well. Shotzi trying to use that pistol, but Persia will take him out. He was thinking he was going to be on the outer like walkway. He was not Perch making the play, and uh, Tatch just brings him back to Earth a little bit as he takes him out with a frag. A four, four in a row for Kenny. Dodge an explosion. Sir Michael Bay in the house. Is he a sir? I don't think so, no. Isaac Noon is the... Okay. But yeah, I, I, with that, obviously you hear the trophies going off the nades trying to connect from the Legion. Kenny on five in a row. Fred, well, the flanks are working out this time. And now he's in a position to find more as they are working both points. Kenny's just going to try to... He's going to have to dodge all these nades. I would think on the B. Maybe not. They're so worried about A, actually. And Purge, he's going to find two with a giant explosion. Map's blowing up. Purge is uh, receiving the benefits of that. You already have the advantage when it comes to the objective. If you are Optic Texas, uh, you're up six lives, too. You're in a really good spot with a ton of time to work with. Shotzi working his way outside the map, all the way around the flag attached. Maybe reading people like a book, but he's not reading that one. As Shotzi gets the position, finally traded out by Nero. That's just one of those tough timings, right, where you're trying to slide. Maybe you're trying to stun the spawn, yep. and instead you, you hit the slide and the stun's in hand. You're like, ah, I'm going to die. So, But it doesn't matter because you the cruise on Kenny. Life advantage. Looking to go up 2-0. Well. And the guns are heating up a bit if you were opting. There's still been some great gunfight wins from Legion. Now they're shooting back. They've been battling when you think about just the skill across both teams. Obviously, just from a raw gun skill standpoint, you would take Optic Texas without question. But Legion have been there. They've been fighting. Not looking great, though, right now within this map. Three and eight. Well, uh, ignore me, because then they're able to take out all four. As they regain a bit of control here, and they needed that desperately as they look to be going down 0-2, maybe. I mean, now you're, you're pretty much trapped, and you have standing in this position. The only player who gets out is Kenny. The, you have to wait on Kenny here if you are Optic to, to find the opening. That's it. Vegas is like, how does Kenny get into this position? You still have standing up top on this ledge, <laughs> just trying to play his life. And, well, Shotzi's going to spawn right in front of him. So with the play from Kenny and that route, they're right oh, back in, and he oh, continues oh. to piece him up. Uh, yeah, you just missed there, Vernero. A little hop to the right. And Kenny able to take that gunfight. Now they're onto the point, relying on Purge to maybe hit some shots lives wise. Two life advantage for Optic. 30 seconds to go. Fights all over the place. Stanny trying to step it up. He was struggling, but now gets his eighth within it. Purge doesn't finish the first gunfight. Tries to snap to the second. Leads to two there for Shotzi. Now you have no lives remaining. Only three up if you're a Legion. Make it one. All down to Purge. He is chopped down, cut down, sliced into pieces. Texas win their second round. And take control of this map three. Yeah, and that was a six on three, and I don't hate the play here. You're going to see all of Vegas sprinting, and they know we don't have the lives for this, right? We have to stagger the push. We know there's one player left on the point. We have to deal with him first. So they try to go, but obviously on high rise, MCW's up. You're just getting cut down as you cross. Yeah, I was trying to think of words too. Just mowed down, cut, slap, chopped, all of it. Yeah, they were getting annihilated as they tried to get there, and they couldn't. Um, obviously... Legion have not been good in control. They play this for the first time and maybe find some different results. They have, they've had their opportunities within both rounds. That, that, that round is all Kenny. I mean, you yeah, have to yeah. do it 2-12, but the fact he gets out when they are trapped underground, I'm not sure what the timing was, but he saved that round for Optic. He absolutely did. Now they've seen one more, and they're right back fighting in this series and getting you to a map for Hardpoint. And Shotzi will continue to look to find angles. Pushing up aggressively will be Dashy. Dashy is just hitting shots of that MCW, cutting them apart. They try to push up off of that, but Shotzi can't quite get there. Dashy is staying alive, looking for five in a row, but the double chow will come through. Now right over to Kenny's angle as he's on a five streak. Again. And he's, I mean, struggled obviously that map one. Everybody kind of did, but in this respawn, 25 and 13 out of Kenny. Guy is a lord, and those fights are not fun at all. Pred was thinking, Amos is please, where art thou? Yeah, no, you don't get in those fences. No, never you have. do not. You just never have. So. <laughs> it's not a good time, but it doesn't matter. We hit the regain shots. He's trying to climb like he's Spider-Man. Spider Shotzi, Spider Shotzi. Shotzi can't do it now. Shotzi can Shotzi. He's alive and in the mix. 
I've seen him do the split. <laughs> 15 seconds left down. This one, Shotzi tries to get the snap on with the pistol. Fred, though, the centering is there. The clock will stop for now. 14 lives left for Legion. As they try to pull off a miracle and maybe extend this control. Kenny, cruise missile. Here we go. Had to get off of it. Maybe no trophy, so it's going to find one. And that means Pred, he should have a couple of freebies, at least one. Gonna wait for his teammates out, goes for the free fire first. The last member standing. We're headed to a map four. There we go, Optic Texas. They come alive now in the map three. Kenny bailing him out in that round two, making the play. Kenny was on point around double positive throughout that one. Has a streak at the tail end to maybe even bail him out in case that gets scary. Kind of forces him out of the point, milk some more time off the clock. But a monster map there from Kenny and Optic. And now you look to push this the distance. Kenny, 30 and 15, nearly 6,000 damage. Uh, no, it, it, Kenny's stats compared to everyone else in the lobby is a joke. That guy had a map. Did like 24 non-traded look, look, look at his, he had the most assists, the most non-traded kills, the highest streak, the most damage. He doubled basically his entire team. He has 30 and 15. There's a reminder, Kenny is very good at the game. Yeah, he's a Slate CEO. You know how you don't like that MK2 reflector? Neither yeah. does Kenny. He calls himself the Slate CEO. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. I don't, yeah. I love so, that. That's that's it. More people have been putting on the Slate more and more. With, he's putting up numbers like just that. Just look at the damage per round, like, too, just compared to everybody else. Like, that, that was just a map, bro. Like, he popped off. And then even Pred, uh, big regain out of him, right? He struggled that round one. But I think we saw kind of... You know, he was trying to find time using that rival nine, same with standing. That could just be difficult, right? You're roaming underground and you're just put into a tough spot. He's like, I'm gonna just pull out another MCW. Yeah, and then maybe he starts to, to get it going a bit, like you said. But it was the Kenny Clinic throughout. It's crazy too, what? He starts like four and six, and then he must just go. He just starts nuts. to go nuts. Yeah, no, 100%. Like, he was sitting around even through the early going. You have a Shotzi with the hot start. I mean, it's that round two, right? I, I mean, he started to get going there a little bit, but it's it's this round two. And however he gets out, gave him this point. Yep. And that was everything, because, I mean, I think that's when, what, you got the four down if you were Legion. You were in a good spot. You had them locked in. And it just takes one to maybe turn the map on its head. And Kenny does exactly that. Now, you got a chance. I mean, you know, uh, were we giving him a hard time in that map one? Sure. I mean, best hard point team in the game came out flat, and they look horrible. But if you come away to win this series, I mean, like you said, it's not the worst thing to have some extended series when you're, you know, in the qualifier stage. Not the worst thing to make some mistakes. If you're going to make them, have it happen now. Now you got a chance after that big win to get this into map four. And that's why it's difficult to be just like, like, even if you end up being an okay, let's say you're a pretty good search team if you're Vegas Legion and you're a, you're an okay hardpoint team. I, if you're like an okay control team too, you might find some wins. Yep. But you can't just be bad. You can't not win in control and have a chance. It, yeah, that's what no. LAG was doing like early in there in the, in the weeks, right? Where they were winning some of those crucial controls, staying alive in the series. And that's where we're like, hold up, this team might be doing something. Now they're showing more and more yeah. based on the teams that they're playing. But yeah, you, you saw the maps and modes there. And one of the key things with such a strong map set for Optic, right? They have to veto Karachi. And what does that mean? It's terminal map four. And if you're Optic, you take this all day because you're going to have the map side pick in which you're going to start on the strong side. And if it goes to plan, you're going to be up a ton on this first set. Yeah, and I'm sure they want to get a little bit of revenge after that map one. They know that just got out of control. It shouldn't have been. I'm sure they were screaming at themselves after that. Now, maybe you get the chance to be the hammer, come out here and fry a little bit, show that you're one of the best, if not the best hard point team in the game. But yeah, it probably hurt your st stats a little bit, like overall with that, that map one, just because they, they were nuts, dude. But they looked at, when you look through their stats, they were first in just about everything with how good they have been. But every now and then you come out with a dud. Yeah, no, it's going to happen, right? Now you, you play a map like Terminal 2 where these stats get a, a little bit weird in terms of breaking and holding because we just know how difficult this can be with all these different crosses, running four ARs. We'll see if Vegas can, can find maybe a break early on. Yeah, now a test for Vegas. I mean, you come out, like you get the, the shocking one maybe in map one. I think uh, map two, we totally believe that was one that was winnable for them. But you go up 2 out, not something maybe you expected. And then you just kind of get beat up a little bit in that map three. A couple winnable rounds there, but you're not able to do it. Now can you answer back? Because 
there's some question marks with this team. They look like a real threat early on. Then you're throwing away some. Maybe you should have won. Yeah. You're like, it seems like they're digressing. Like, was it, you start to question, is it almost like you always have it every year, where like a team's like a little bit ahead at the beginning of the game. They just like learn a little bit faster, but then slowly sort of go downhill. You start to wonder if that's maybe the case. Well, I think like, their search and destroy was definitely one where teams were probably studying what is this. Yeah, team? yeah, yeah, yeah. After the first uh, year. Yeah. But it, with their response, they definitely had uh, a lot more to work on. And certainly, certainly, yeah. Saw that in map number one, Skid Row. We'll see it again here. But yeah, the control is... It's got to be a main focal point for them moving forward. Well, now, because now you throw out, you know, you try to pull a rabbit out of the hat and, you know, do when you haven't played yet in high rise and you get 3 0 It's just like, uh, uh, what's our go-to now? Um, unfortunately, there's not a fourth map to try. <laughs> Guys, we're out of options. We just got to get better. <laughs> All right, in the map four now. Optic looking to mount a wild comeback, but then there's best of five. Kenny was uh, shooting nuclear missiles out of his MCW in that map three. He's looking to stay hot within this one. Well, a nice start with a strong start. Strong spawn for Optic Texas get right to the point. Yeah, I mean, you had Purge maybe trying to work through Bookstore on a pinch, but it's all green in the kill feed, and yeah. Pretty much perfect start here for Optic. This is what can be so difficult about terminal, right? Just depending on that map pool, if you're going to pick it, that means the opposing team is going to get that good side. You have to know that. And what is the plan moving forward towards this P2? Because you're going to have to pretty much give up P1. Looking for number five in a row. I thought yeah, nearly one kill. caught there. Number two. A streak will end. Uh, yeah, it's all Nero. He's got all three of their kills so far. Nobody else on the board. It's all optic early, and that's the same in the objective. You have five points up of your Legion. 40 off the strong spawn start. Yeah, here we go for Optic, but now a chance now for Legion. And they find a couple of kills right before that hill pops, and the two players are going to spawn out. Nero is going to read it. So you were looking for a chance to get back to the game here at P2. Maybe you found it, but you see security. Someone stays alive all the way in the back. All of Optic spawn there. But I guess you don't hate it right now as Purge continues to, to beam because P3 is going to that plane. Yeah, it's like it's like the one time where like the scary spawns are kind of like, all right, I mean, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> We're going to be headed out towards the plane. But for the most part, yeah, you're very happy spawning there. But I used to be cut down on the cross. It was what a couple from Purge, now a few from Attach. That's all Terminal is, just a box and lines of sight for MCWs to hit the beams. We have 15 seconds left here. Legion made that rally, now gone back in front. Now do you have a chance to maybe chain this into three? Because Optic have finally pushed through. Yeah, that close spawn there in security. They funnel it, they funnel it, they funnel it. They finally get into the tail seconds of it. And now it's kind of a foot race over to third. Yeah, and then Fred with the angles from Bookstore is going to allow his teammates to get in there. He's able to find two kills. Shotzi still on his spree. He's up to seven and four. And Optic can control of this play. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what part of the game it is. Security can summon It'll work for you eventually. Fred is in behind everybody. He's able to take one down and feed that information to his teammate in Shotzi, but he will end up falling. So you get back in quickly off a triple from Nero. And we look for another lead change within this one. But halfway through this hard point, Joe, what are you seeing on the minimap here for the setup for next? I mean, obviously, you already have Shotzi inside of Burger hanging out. Smelling what they're cooking back there. Mm. Can he get a rotate on over? Try to get a burger after the cast today. I kind of can. Maybe two. Oh. You like your doubles and triples, but Shotzi on that early rotation, it's going to pay off. He's had three in a row. But I will say the one thing, you know, throughout this game, I was really just worried the way Vegas was shooting throughout that first hill, right? Only Nero was finding kills, but a, a nice response. Nero's up to 11. They have a 30 point lead off of P2 and P3 and attacks with some headies. Maybe you want to set them up as soon as I say that. It's Pred and Kenny yeah. right, right back. <laughs> it, looked, it looked good for a, a moment. And then it was all optic in the feed. So they'll get Antsy Esky side spawn for Legion as they try to find any kind of break. An opener from attach will that be enough to maybe get you forward. But the problem is getting across. You've got multiple MCWs holding you. And Shotzi and Dash, you have the angle. It's Shotzi finding all the kills. But it's like you got to... You win the first couple of gunfights, but it's like, can you actually hit that gap? It doesn't seem big, but it's like monumental. That was 10 feet to cross the burger. Just trying to think of like, just so odd how, you know, the crosses, especially in this game, I don't know if you had anything like it in the past. A uh, Call of Duty, right? Trophies and they just working some of these hills. It's definitely much different, but these teams have adapted, know how they want to play it. We have a very close game, but Vegas, right, to go for this again without that security spawn, yeah. fighting for the front.
Yeah, if you're gonna be a Call of Duty professional, you better be ready to adapt, because <laughs> who knows how early and often things can change. Standy just stayed alive with 19 HP at the point, but it's Shotzi through that's able to get the kill. He's leading the way right now for the squad. It was Kenny hot in map three. It's Shotzi here, 16 and eight. Still about a tie game, but it's Optic with control of book. That's soaking up the time now. Any big takeaways here from uh, kind of your first half of play? Nothing too crazy. I mean, yeah, just both teams trying to secure in those points. Again, what Vegas is able to do, at least they're still in the game. But now, just the way off they're starting to shoot, and Kenny's getting going again. He's on another five spree. You have this security spawn. You're going to try to hold it for the next couple of hills. It is. The same story. Yeah, I mean, the respawns is just going to be tough to slay with this Optic Texas team. But so far, Legion be able to do it over the course of the series. Just like, can you keep doing it over the course of the entire series? And when does maybe that skill gap, that edge towards Texas, start to show itself a little bit more? But you're still in this game down 40 if you are Legion. Purge still shooting straight. Trophy out for coverage. In the point they go as they try to make the rally cry, but it's still security side spawns for Texas and the four-man hit starting to come forward as Purge doing his best to blend in with plants. Yeah, probably just trying to go for that contest spot. Force maybe someone to overpeak, just kind of hanging out right there. They will take this all day as we try to rotate on over. Maybe a couple of players towards P2 and maybe behind that multi-kill from Standy and try to get forward. They do, but Dashi says no. And then on the bottom side of your minimap, you already have a skirmish going down. All of Vegas is going to try to get here quickly. Yeah, they're trying to battle forward. They'll leave that the final 20 or so seconds to Dashi inside, and then you'll fight this on the other end of it if you are a Legion. Last time they got a great chunk of time here, but what, it's like the last five to 10 seconds, you broke through from security side spawns if you were Texas, and that led into the plane hold. What kind of job can you do now if you're a Legion? And I actually kind of like this. They're not overextending to try to hit the security spawn. They just have like a, a cross setup where you're controlling this front desk, you're shooting from terminal from that jet bridge. You're not letting them get to dreams, Optic. Trying to send this to a game five. Let's go to a listen in with Optic Texas. I'm laying down. Front server, don't get stuck. I'm I'm going to move right now. I'm going to move right now. That's good. That's good. It's a really good time. This is the game. This is the game. This is the game. I'm holding the time. Someone pick a bug. Pick a bug. Yeah, one's in plane. In plane. One front. One front. I'm holding the hole. Make sure you're the front. I'll hold front. I can bump you. You can go. You can go. Oh, what the hole? I can hit it. I can hit it. Hey, I'm holding the time. I'm holding the time. He's in the hole somewhere. I shot. Guys, cockpit. Two cockpit. Two cockpit. You can go. You can go. Looking somewhere. Maybe term. Can we cut off some of you? Term, not telling me. I spawn burger boys. I spawn burger boys. Yeah, I'm holding burger boys. Just go front. Deep low plane to me. I just fell. What plane? Deep deep up one. Deep up one. Do that. I fell low plane, bro. I have a pinch there. Yeah, you go on the slide, can if you want. Can. Just looking for this guy. P1 first. P1. He's saying I'm hitting the slide. You want to You want to shoot? Mid left. 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 I'm holding the book pins for a sec. Ah, one's out. There's two out. There's two out. One's pushing turn fast. One's pushing turn fast. Right. I'm standing in front of you. Right now, you're right now. Danny, one shot. One shot P1. Danny's P1. In dreams. In dreams. Pins, pins, pins. Right. Where's that? I got the book. Give me 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 book. We get the we get this, we win the game. Like this is game. This is game. You heard him say it a couple of times. They took a significant lead, but Legion have stayed in this with some great holds and breaks back into play. Yeah, I mean they just haven't been able to flip this though. That's that's really the problem. Maybe an opportunity here. Standing attached. We're trying to work both trying to work the bottom side of the map, but they just get cut down and now you're forced to have to work this cross in, in good luck. It's so hard. It's so hard. Yeah, you at least have to get them off the point to try to get us to bookstore to, to P5, but now you have Pred pushing forward trying to catch the players off spawn throwing those nades and the more that happens Shotzi's is gonna stare at this dishwasher yeah he's just relaxing as the rest of his teammates finding the kills second by second this is looking like a game five felt that way even after Legion went up 2-0 it's looking that way but you get some big kills we get enough here to extend this 
You only need eight se seconds of your optic Texas, but you've cleared them out. I think you may have done the work you needed to. A couple more ticks, and you've done exactly that. You have done enough to see more here if you are Legion. Just enough, but still trailing by 50 points. You put so much effort into that, though. It's bookside control for optic Texas. Five in a row, make it six in a row, though, for attach. But you just need five seconds right now for your optic. They're set up inside. Vegas trying to work the pitch. Can they get in and stop this? They just do it in the nick of time, and we'll see a bit more here, Joe. Yeah, not much. Not much at all. <laughs> not much longer after game five. Oh. And I mean, it's just the story of, of Terminal Hardpoint. I mean, it's just uh, security side control. Yep. That's, that's, they never lost it. They had it pretty much the entire game. And it ends up being a, a closer to being a battle. That's sort of terminal. Like, they're usually... Well, I mean, they know P3, you know, the end of the listening. The reason why they said this is pretty much the game with the break, because maybe they throw a life or two, a push or two at P3 in, inside a plane, but they're just going to rotate Shotzi early in the burger. And they're... Yeah, they, they, they put some effort into it, certainly. But, I mean, the big thing is just making sure we don't lose control. And that's why you kind of heard, I think it was... I think it was Kenny even when he kind of dropped low, like he was thinking about just picking up the player that was P1 side, just thinking about that more than going towards playing, <laughs> like just making sure they don't lose those side spawns, making sure they got the best chance to close that out. They do just that. So best hard point team in the game, rebound, uh, rebounds after a tough map one loss. But here you can see how it broke down and it was really, really back and forth early on. You can see a bunch of lead changes to start things off, but around that 100 to 100 point scoreline i think when i asked you what would you what do you think about that first kind of half of gameplay from then on it was optic yeah i mean if you looked at sort of four or five the, on that flow chart that is when optic wins security back and it just stayed that way yeah no no you're tro totally right but here's a look at how our series has gone so far we're tied up 2-2 two, two. a great start from legion but now you start to bring it back and think about the reverse sweep here for optic it's Invasion, Search, and Destroy. And Search and Destroy, sort of a question mark for both these teams. I mean, it's been kind of the weak spot for OpTic with some tough round 11 losses. Uh, if you are uh, on the Vegas side of it, you know, you kind of went on a three-game uh, three win streak, then a three-game skid. Now you bounce back and win the game two here, but not necessarily been the best for either. But somebody's got to be the best here. Who's going to step it up? Kenny's been a monster in this series. Purge has stepped it up massively. Can he be a hero in this map five? It's Vegas, it's Optic. It's one final map when we get back.
Don't miss out on all the action at the first Call of Duty League Major, hosted by the Boston Breach, this January 25th to the 28th at the MGM Music Hall at Fenway in Boston. Scan the QR code on the screen or go to CallofDutyLeague.com for more info. Start the season strong with the Call of Duty League Pack. Grab yourself the CDL Operator, Weapon Blueprint, and so much more. Check out the Call of Duty store in-game now. We are back this time for a Map 5 Texas Legion getting ready to get nasty. It's Final Search and Destroy on Invasion. What are you thinking, Joe? I never know what to think anymore. <laughs> Is it the momentum here for Optic? Oh, wait, no, that's right. You let the flank think for you, my bad. Um, but what I will say is that Inv Invasion Search and Destroy Optic, they have not played it yet. Okay. Uh, we're on the other side for uh, Legion, a comfortable map. They played it three times, so a lot of VOD for Optic to go over. Okay. Uh, but one and two, but I think one of those is like a throw, like a 5-2 throw, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. One where uh, Vegas has a lot of reps, they know what to look for. What do we go? Shotzi, bomb in hand, offense for Optic Texas. As they start to look for your openings, Nero will be holding from second. B Street locked down by Purge. And this looks to be an A hit. They're slowly starting to ramp up towards this bomb site. There's Kenny and his slate. Look at just a end. slow development here, right? Vegas really not showing much, but they have B Street locked down. I mean, standing a bit of an off angle here. At least I thought so. Kenny maybe was ready for something, but standing with the first blood in the rival. Yeah, I mean, Kenny got a snaps, but yeah, you're just never going to win that one. Unless you're pre -amp perfectly on it. An awkward situation. They added doors to the game. They thought that was a good idea and uh, just uh, headbutting some doors. But it's Pride that's able to get the kill. 3v2, make it three on one. Pistol hits for Dashy. Attach, last up. Not a one versus three, but you still have to work this plant. Attach is still fighting. That's going to be a tough one. Tagged it for the first fight. Optic Texas close out the round one. And you were kind of throwing your hands up during that. What happened, Joe? I mean, they, they hit the first blood, and then they just... It just felt like they thought it was already like an A hit, right? They had B control in the player's B side. They just got so aggressive. They end up getting caught, right, by Pred, uh, by maybe Kenny, you know, watching that pinch. Wasn't exactly sure who it was, but... Someone, uh, they were ready for it. They, they didn't commit over to the A bomb site in Vegas. We saw how fast they were on terminal. They tried to do the exact same thing, but that time it hurt them. So there, maybe instead of being decisive, is a little bit of uh, impatience. <laughs> then we saw him say that. Yeah, Dashy was watching the pinch here from Blue. Nero getting tagged on the cross, but still fine, just playing for info. As they're tickling each other at range down this A straight opening kill. It's Nero. He's going to drop with bombs. So you had Kenny grouped up with Pred there at that mid cross. They're able to cut him down, get the kill. Purge, though, sends it forward. Wins him with the pistol. Suddenly a three versus three. The stun hits on the standy, but that stun was really just to get out if it, for Kenny. They'll back up for now. Yeah, it's a get out, and I'm going to reposition here and now try to watch this cross over to B. Nothing's really happening quite yet. Keeping Optic just on their toes. Where are they going with this bomb? And it looks like they're thinking B with Kenny, the way he's sort of sort of playing this. Yeah, Fred watching that cross. Yeah, Purge is going to see that door kind of creep on open. They're going to try to work this bomb down, and that is great. You have a, have a trophy to work with, but the, the cross does not work out for attach. Can't quite get through. Stanley just trying to stay up. 15 seconds now to go. Right as he on ADS's, Kenny will pop. Purge now left on an island, one versus three. No time to work with. One on the tank, Eddie, one inside. It is just a battle everywhere he looks. Another round to Optic as they inch closer to this reverse sweep. Yeah, nice little uh, just repositioning rotation there for Optic. As soon as they had an idea of what was going on, everyone sort of got into their spots. And Vegas is hoping that smoke goes down and that covers the cross of the bomb. So Attach should stay alive, get that bomb down. But as soon as he, as soon as he gets down, it's sort of just this... All right, someone's got to give something up, and then the timings, we know how that goes. Yep. They can get wild. Kenny, he's been phenomenal in this series. Four and one. On four in a row now in the search and destroy. What a pickup he was for this Optic Texas roster. 
another creepy crawling. Oh, it's a Team Bonnie exercise. Yeah. Those are always good. Yeah. Just a little spot for Ippo from Shotzi. I've been seeing that more and more, just sort of used in hardpoint, used in respawns, just to clear out this area. Make sure it's all good. But again, what, last round on there attacking, it was Standy kind of playing a prony, playing a bit of an offing, he's doing it, doing it again. It's just, is he going to be the one that gets caught or is he going to find that? It just feels like as soon as he finds one, it should be a quick trade. And he does get pushed up near that dumpster. And hello, oh. that's going to be bombed down. Yep, but he's tucked away again. He sends it so weak, continues to go, and just a shot to the booty as he takes him out as he tries to round the edge. It's a spot there from Standy you thought would maybe be the playmaker. He was exactly that, Joe. I mean, he's just playing sort of different angles, playing a little hide and seek. We saw it in round one. He was right outside the dumpster alley in that corner, switches it up this round. And they know he's got the bomb set on lock. It's just sort of don't let them... Get an angle on me. Make sure you're looking over there. Show some presence so they're not worried about me. That's exactly what they did. Yeah, you saw TBS is like sort of shooting shots over top of him. Like, you're just keeping him honest. They lose track of Standy. Standy makes the play. Big round win there from Legion. He maybe hits the stun before the trophy goes down for some. It's a lot of aggression, though. You already have Pred inside of DVD. You have Shotzi again over towards Broken. The fact that Pred's in this position, he's going to get a lot of info for the squad, or at least be on a quick flank if they do decide to go up B. And maybe with that, we'll see right here. Purge has that bomb, and there we go. He's going to get taken down. Once again, Colin, the playmaker's going to be. It's Pred that's able to do it, but now you get out to the bomb site. Nero looking to get this down. He gets tagged up. He's on 30 HP, though. And he gets cut down. It's Pred finding his second within the round. A tough position for the offense. Again, Standy. Good light. Thought he almost brought that gunfight back after being tagged up to 6 HP. But it's not going to happen. Kenny gets another one in this. Now attach it a one versus four. Quality beams onto Kenny. Nice little snap onto the second. But too much to do. And three rounds up now for Optic Texas, but Pred the key player there, Joe. I mean, they get aggressive up the street, right? You saw the trophy go down. We saw it through x-rays. Shots he gets across. They have no idea Pred is, you know, inside of DVD. I mean, he gets three in the round, right? Yeah, he's just kind of hanging out. As soon as he gets that spot, and we've seen that go wrong, right? On that cross where a stun or a nade hits, and they, you know, the attacking team will catch that player broken, and then they just go, and, you know, you lose the round. But that time, it's a risk, but it pays off. Three in a row for Pred at five and one. Who's going to step it up? Maybe for Vegas Legion. If they're going to start to bring this one back, is Shotzi just hopping across right for the stun hits, able to get in through the window. And I, I love Stan. I mean, see, he's got another spot. He's like, don't worry, guys. I got an eight, and this time it's from a different spot. <laughs> see that number six. He's not in the middle this time. He's up that water street, but it looks like he's going to be a, a B hit. His bomb starting to work their way up. Is that's a trade from Kenny and Nero? Yeah, we'll see. How Standy opts to get involved. He's been a key player in these defenses. Uh, well, he gets involved by Pred taking his head off. 3v2 now for Optic Texas. Chance to take a big 4-1 edge. Shotzi still with bomb in hand. Which one do you want to isolate? You got a couple of... Well, you got two on one here towards B. It's really just Purge. Playing in the back. Info on the trophy. Nowhere Purge is going to be playing from. Shotzi now works to get the plant. Teammate can look over him. Purge... Good luck, as he's just getting tagged up the second he peeks. Big Brucey and Dashy with eyes on through. And all the way around, through on the flank. Good luck. Purge gets dropped, fourth on the board for Texas. I mean, again, into that three-on-three, three, what happens? Standy decides, I'm going to just go and try, try to find some info. Instead, Pred catches him. I mean, props to Optic, because... They're not crossing a B, but they're they're making Vegas think with, with so, some of their map positions. And, and on defense, you're thinking we have to find some info. Maybe just start to work that flank from standing. Instead, Pred is ready for it. So a great round for Pred. He's on five in a row. Kind of out lurking him throughout this. I mean, he's been incredible for this team, and he's seven and one now. Just being a monster in this map five. Closer and closer we get to the reverse sweep. Shotzi 
It's another first blood for Optic. Vehicles explode. Nero out of it. Deddy up for Pred as he wants to go hunting. It's going to be a fast flank, one of those risky plays out of Pred. Will he get there in time to be spoiler? It's all on Pred here through on the flanker, is it? No, okay, never mind. Shotzi is tearing apart everyone. Shotzi's getting an ace. It started with a car and ended with an MCW. Shotzi with the beams. I mean, this is just, uh, yeah, an individual play because I'll tell you what, the call from Optic is spot on. Again, they've been showing aggression, 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 B Street. This time on defense, <laughs> they just say, screw it. Let's send three <laughs> through A, start a quick flank, and the flank would have worked out. You're hoping Shotzi gets one. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking in my head, oh, Shotzi, you'd stay alive as long as you can until yes. Pred gets there, and instead he kills everybody. So, yeah, I mean, Pred probably would have been the playmaker. I mean, they're both the playmakers right now. You're combined to be, what, 12 and 3. You're both on five streaks. Vegas Legion. Getting choke slammed here in this map five. Just dominance out of Optic and the poise to come back after the 0-2 hole. Now a round away from closing this out. You've let Shotzi get deep into his bag. Good luck bringing this back, but attach, you know, he's got the ice. One of the clutchest players we've got in the league. Maybe he brings him back, but he's out of the round now. Two versus two, Shotzi, Dashi versus Nero and Purge. And again, you know, one player maybe lurking towards that A street with Standy, he gets caught, but as you said, two on two. But bombs gonna be planted. I mean, Nero and Persia are so kind of out of this play, both on their own islands. It kind uh, of won't be ones on both sides right now. <laughs> like, yeah, but Dashi's gonna get the info and look at this. He saw him crossing back, so Shotzi just is, all this is is wait for me, right? Wait for me, don't over chow. I'm quickly on this flank, but instead he's gonna get found out and already on the defuse. Will he get there in time? Easter does find one step on in his second. The long flank works out. He said, trust me, big baby, I'm going to get there. He gets there and clutches up for the one versus two. And Texas, after coming out, I don't know, flats. The, what's, what's flatter than flat? I'm not sure. Super flat. They came out. It was a rough start for the map one. They dropped the map two, but then they bring it back. They come alive behind a monster map three from Kenny. And they get going, Optics secure the victory, and this ends up now, you know, after obviously we're sort of toast them a little bit for your map one and two, now it's just one of those, like you said, sort of, you play a couple extra maps, you learn from some mistakes. They're, Great series.